Hey everybody. Um, as you would have seen from my last videos, I'm having some massive camera angle issues due to the way I mount my camera. But I hope I have sorted it this time. So, assuming I have, because I don't know for definite, but I think I have, I'm going to do the ride back off the island um, that I tried to show you before. And all I showed you was the handlebars, like down here, so I'm hoping it's more up here. I'll do my best. It's, um, what's it, today's Sunday. I've got, uh, three, today and three more days off work. And the weather's still really nice, so... I'm going to make the most of it. What I will do is I'm going to go most of the way uh, I went before. Then I'm going to go through a place called Northby, which is a little village. And uh, really pretty roads to ride on. So you can't really go fast down them because if you do, you're gonna die. Because it's you just go around corners and you just find tractors in the middle of the road. And isn't it funny how we've got in the UK anyway and with tractors? They like to attach the largest, sharpest, pointiest things you've ever seen to them. So not only is it a tractor, which if you hit it's gonna be pretty solid. Also, it's got a bloody giant drum with spikes sticking out the side of it. Now, let's just check this. I'm not sure. I'll try and show you if I can. Just in case the angle's not working. Let's see, fields. Got stinks of burning plastic down there, someone's going outside. Someone's got a fire going and then also you've got plastic and it stinks. That's one of the things about riding a motorcycle you don't get when you're compared to driving a car, the smells. You can smell everything which isn't always good. What the hell is that? That's fucking awesome! It was like a a large go-kart. That's crazy. Oh, I hope I'll see him later on. I'll have to try and find him. Right. Okay, right. As before I ran up there, and it's all twisty corners, I'm going to go down here. And then I'm going to cross the, this is sort of, this is the two lane roads, that's the, the sort of, as I said, the uh, shortcut old way off the island. And this road connects the old road with the new road. And this road hardly ever gets used. Oh, 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 as you can tell, they don't do much work to it. Right, now this might take a minute. Oh no, no no. It's looking all good. Amazing. Right, this is the road I'm talking about. Um, I do have a subject, surprisingly enough, um, which is why I've started blogging, or moto blogging, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I just really enjoy riding, and I like making YouTube videos, and so it all comes together. And I've got a lot more free time now than I did a few weeks ago. Um, 
I split up my girlfriend of three and a half years, uh, about two months ago. Her decision basically just she I mean I was she was 17 when we started going out and I was 21. I mean we were together three and a half years and everything was okay most of the time. Um, but she's changed a bit as she's grown up and that shit happens. Um, it was hard for me for the first couple of weeks. Um, I'm starting to get used to it again. It's just getting used after three and a half years of being with someone and they're living with me for uh, about two of that. It's just very strange going back to living on my own. But I'm finding things to do. Look forwards, not backwards. Because you can't, you know, as I say, you can't change your past, but you can change your future. So I want to work on that basis. Uh, my favourite bloggers that I have been watching for years. Obviously, there's more death. Um, Sven Gali, is it? I can't, I'm sorry, mate. I can't remember. His, <laughs> if you ever come to watch this, not that you get it, but I think it, it's no Sven or his name Steve or I don't know, but it's on YouTube. It looks like Sven Gali. He's a brilliant guy. Crashes a lot, <laughs> but um, yeah, he's good. And half throttle, massively, massively interesting bloke. Um, I'll actually put a link in the description to their channels because those are the main three I know of. But I mean, there's lots of other ones, but they're sort of they just stand out a lot more to everyone else. And uh, I know Half Throttle's currently asking. He went to a place because he lives in uh, Panama. Panama? Yeah, that's right. Um, and there's a place there where a guy is looking after turtles. Um, I highly suggest you watch those videos because if you've got some spare cash, they are asking um, just donate a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars to help this guy look after the turtles because what they're doing is just horrible out there. So, um, and if you understand that, that Thanks for uh, using my side of the road, mate. Um, the number of uh, turtles that hatch compared to the ones that actually get to like, adulthood, it's like, I think the numbers are so stupid, like one in 10,000 will reach adulthood, which is why they have so many young. Um, but when people are stealing the eggs for like 10 cents an egg, uh, they're gonna get wiped out. So yeah, I'm gonna put, say, so look on our throttle. And if you can afford to do it, do it. I'm going to try and find some money. I mean, I'll probably have to see if I can uh, send a little something. Well, I am very skint. A couple of quid. What is it? It's nothing. But it'll make a big difference to them. So yeah, that was a... Uh, that was northerly. Yeah, I nobbed it a pink helmet scooter, Patsy. An awesome pink helmet. I just don't have the balls to have a pink one, I have to have a black one because I want to look like everyone else. Right, well, this is more like another test video, but I hope there's some interest for you. Uh, and if there are any other bloggers that are particularly good that I haven't mentioned, let me know. Um, I think who are the other ones in our Rebel Yell? Uh, God, I can't think of the names offhand. Anyway, yeah. It looks like I'm going to go off the island. Yes, I will. Okay, catch you next time.